Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued plan let's play Secret of Evermore with guidance and assistance from the King of Giant Robots, our dear friend Asapa. It's your boy here to bite all the baddies and sniff out all the secrets of Evermore. Indeed my friends and we are streaming on Twitch and then uploading this to YouTube and it's been a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump back into it, shall we? Oh my god. How soon would you like to cheese it? Well, the only reason I'm not freaking out right now is because I saw this thing on like the cover of the game. Otherwise, yes. I would be having a panic attack at the moment. <laughs> and that's why I said, how fast do you want to cheese it? I want to just fight it the best I can. There. Oh, hold on. Mm, 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 mm. There are multiple targets. Yeah, there are. And I don't mean the bugs. Each arm is worth experience. Ow. So if you hit your shoulder buttons with your alchemy. Now, what that's going to do, because you hit the heart, is it's going to get mad. Yeah, I see that. Your target is to smack the chest open, the rib cage, so you can smack the heck out of its heart. You get extra experience for the bugs and for the arms. Which you can hit when they extend down towards you. Also, every now and again you'll get a resupply on a pedal. It's going to do that once every minute. Yo, that hurts like heck. I suggest hitting that pedal. That hurts a ton. And it's going to do that once a minute. It's insane. Cannot tarry too much. And the pedal just disappeared. Yep, but that's why there's plenty of bugs that come along. Even hurting it? Yeah. That. Uh, nope, it's still there. It will. It will explode. The arm will be gone when it's gone. The target is Thrax's heart. How do I hit yep. this thing without it hitting me? You have to go up to its rib cage and hit the rib cage. I'm trying to hit the, the arms. Heal. I'm saying, how do I kill the arms? Uh, do you when when they extend to hit you, that's when you try to smack them. They keep hitting me though before I can hit them. See what I mean? Yep. Jeez. Oh, your weapon levels up. Yeah, it did. can't seem to hit it. I literally can't seem to hit it. Every single time I it, get close enough, it just bonks me. Then ignore the arms and go for the the heart. The heart is the target. This acid rain's ticking me off. 
<laughs> does way too much damage. It's not going to stop. die when he acid rains. It's ridiculous. This is literally ridiculous. There's just so much stuff hitting you. And that time, the acid rain did a lot more damage than it's ever done. Take two. I don't even know if I should waste magic trying to kill the arms because the last time I did that, the, the arms just didn't seem to care. Right. And why am I taking five damage like that? Be because it's shaking the whole screen. Find a way to hit it. Problem is... The problem is all these stupid bugs hitting me non-stop. Are you still going after the arms? I'm trying just to survive at the moment. There's so many bugs everywhere. It wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the 50,000 bugs that keep spawning. Because all these dang bugs are just relentless. My god! Come on! Blightless, ignore the bugs. I Go for the heart. I'm trying to ignore the bugs. You they just have keep spawning on top once... of me. You have not made an attempt to swing at the chest to open it up. Well, because I'm swinging at the arms. Why are you swinging at the arms? Because I'm actually hitting the arms. The problem is I can't, I can't, like these bugs just keep coming over and whacking me nonstop. And they will continue to do so. I mean, I know how to hit the arm. It's just, like I said, I'm getting ricocheted back and forth because of these stupid little bugs everywhere. See, I can hit it right here. I know I can hit this thing. It's just these dang bugs won't leave me the bloody heck alone. Rain is really infuriating. before I die. Spawns just, like I said, they don't stop spawning. Oh, 
Oh. And they're not dropping a lot of petals either. I got no petals left. Because these guys have not dropped any petals. There's one. At least it comes back with full life. See, that's the annoying thing. They don't even give me a break. I, I just killed a bunch of them and then they like instantly respawn. It's like, come on. And they're like guarding the thing too, which is really annoying. Like I'm just getting ping ponged all over the place. Hey, I got one. If it wasn't for all the constant respawning, this fight wouldn't be so bad. But the fact that there's constant respawns everywhere makes this fight really, really difficult. See? Like right there! I'm trying to go for the uh, the arm, and what do they do? They basically drop right on top of me. And then he blows you away. Oh yeah, we just killed them all. Oh, here's more. Like I said, if it wasn't for the constant respawn rate, this fight would not be that bad. And these guys aren't dropping enough petals. That's where they're not responding anymore. That is weird. I've never gone after them long enough for them to stop responding. Oh, um, is now I'm dead. Because as soon as he asks the rains again, I'm dead. See, I can kill these arms if it's not for the respawns. What does the pouch do? It's just your, your, oh. that. Your nectar would have healed you. Really? What it is. Dang it! I was so close! I was so close to winning that fight. to kill the arms. No, but I was being successful last time. Oh, that's unfair. He just hit me like three times in a row.
So wait, every time you hit the heart, he hits you for five damage? Because you're supposed to hit the ribcage to get inside to do real damage. And then it kicks you out of the real ca rib cage, so you're not scumming it. You can hit it from outside the rib cage with magic, but you only have so many supplies. You did not purchase more. Sometimes you can get lucky and the rib cage will close and it will knock you back inside of itself. Try a different strategy. I do agree beating up on these things until you level up your bone is a good idea. There it goes. Thinking about letting my dog die here. And then full revived. Yeah, you have two biscuits. But this doesn't end until you defeat the heart. I know, but I know that these guys have a limited spawn. So if I can just get rid of them. Then I can take the boss down easier. Okay, there's the acid rain. Now I can get the. Oh, wow, that did way too much damage. out these guys much faster than it was before especially with powered up club pretty sure there's a speedrunner out there watching me and like I could beat the game in the time it takes you to beat this one boss fight list I killed all the bugs. Eat that acid rain. Just respawning all of a sudden. Why are they respawning all of a sudden? All right, well, screw this. I um, I got rid of one arm, so now I should be able to get in here without. Yeah, I 
should be able to get in here now without. I'm hitting the bone thing. Oh, there we go. I'm in. Huzzah! Getting a lot more pedals than I was before, too. Bug almost killed me. Okay. Ah. Hey, we got both arms. Huzzah! Ooh, 150 damage. Nice. You still with me, Zappa? Yeah. Oh, you've been quiet for a while. Yeah. We go. Woo! I don't know why he's exploding, but uh, I'll take it. All bosses explode. That's the rule. Let's see the spider's claw. An axe. Oh, here's the guy. Oh, brave Venture and Tia. Thank you for saving me. I'm Strongheart from the Village of Fire Eyes. Member of good standing in the Obillion Order of Alchemists. I'm Fightless, and this is my dog Zappa. He hasn't been himself lately. Very happy to meet you both. Searching for alchemy ingredients when I stumbled upon that monster. Didn't come along and save me. I've been eaten alive. Please take this gift with my thanks. Ten wax and ten oil. Five flash casts. Yep. Good luck, flightless. I was thinking the same thing. So now I can chop grass, I take it. Not that, though. Feels good to have fully beaten that boss, though. All the arms. And the heart. A sense of accomplishment. I suppose so. That that that's that's a more positive way to look at it than I was. So what's the cheese strat? having a lot more alchemy and learning the, the, the 
the multicast technique. Or the multicast at the multicast exploit. A what? Uh, you want to go to the right here. Oh, look, your dog yeah. showed you. There, there's, there's an exploit in casting that I have not shown you because you have not had the supplies to do so. Well, you look, look like, like you've been through a lot. There are a lot of bugs and bennies out there. They're probably going to give you a hard time. You're telling me. Here's something that should help you out in this hand, tar and lava. It's a formula of acid rain. Just mix three parts water, one part ash, will have a potent connotation. Cool. Now you can acid rain. Would you like to purchase ingredients? So this guy sells the cheapest ingredients in, in this area. His wax only costs 20, not 120. So this is where you stock up on wax. You can have lots of hardballs with this clay and crystal. Well, it costs 80, not 120. Oh, you had 20. Okay, I, I misread the number. Still, it, it's 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 80 as opposed to the guy down south who sold wax for 120 a piece, or at a 20, 120 at five. You're buying five units at a time. When I have money, my thing is always to have at least 50 of anything. That way you can still pick up items off the ground. Yeah, I don't have a ton of money. Oh, well, you'll get plenty. And when I guide you to free items, you won't have to worry about buying much besides healing items. Did you pick up uh, any equipment off the ground? Uh, uh, one of those uh, the jugs? I could have sworn there was a... Uh, Think so. Piece of equipment I heard about. Maybe I misunderstood. It. Nope. Just still okay. had the vest. Well, it was still free. So, how many casts of magic do you have now? What can you do? I can teach you the technique. Um, I have. 32, five, oh, 32 five, hard five, bars five, a lot. Because you have to buy oil as well. Oh, I didn't, didn't that guy sell didn't have oil. oil. No. So, hardball. We're going to need an enemy on screen. All right. Switch to control of the dog. Now, bring up the boy menu. I think with X. Switch menu. Now, cast, and immediately push that same button again to bring the menu up immediately as soon as you confirm it. Do it again. What? Cast it again. And again. And again. If you do that faster, you've eliminated the wait time between casting spells. Oh, you're right. And that the, you, that's also an effective way of leveling up spells because now you're slinging them out like 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 slinging pancakes does your spells level up based on cast or based on kills but based on cast it's amazing that one has leveled up yet then you haven't cast it 10 times yet was that the number it is uh 10 casts to level 2 20 casts to level 3 40 casts to level 4, etc, etc. Hmm. Until you get to like level 7 and 8 where it is one cast per point. And so you need 99 casts to get it. And then you only need to get to 50 casts to get it to the peak of level 9. Jesus. Yeah, but that's only if you're being a weirdo and trying to max out every spell. Which is... Crazy. Impossible. Or it just takes a very long time. Literally impossible for some spells. Why? Because ingredients? Being not enough ingredients for late game spells exists in the game. Not without many game game genies. Pick up that corpse. Oh. Search that corpse. Thank you, I get that pedal. 
They're just demolishing things all of a sudden. Where the heck am I? Um, that will be important later. Did I go the wrong way? So go back to town slightly. Not really sure where town is. I'm kind of lost in the go, forest. Go, go a little bit south. Cut through there. Do a little chop chop. Now go to the left. Do you recognize where you are yet? I hate these plants. Hey, your stats have gone up. Now you're blocking them. But it cancels your hit, your attack. Yeah. Alright, um... We're here. Come on, Zappa. Let's go talk to Fire Eyes. Or you can go get a free collar. Oh. Where do you do that at? Um, We're going to go back south of here. And then we're, now that we have a chopping weapon, we can go to the left. Hmm. We're going to go see your boy, Strongheart. Those plants they attack me before I can even see them. He tried to get you through the barricade. Mm -hmm. Shell hat. Free equipment. Push down. Back in your equip menu. Oh, I didn't realize there were multiple menus for that. Uh, so maybe you have a third? I thought you got a mammoth guard, but I could also be wrong. Nope, okay, still wrong. I'll let you boy. Hello, flightless baggage is such a terrible experience in Bug Buck. See you, I'm not a big bug's dinner. Please, take this cure formula. It will kill you from poison and other ills, such as confusion. Formula requires two parts root and one part oil. So does that heal me, or it just dispels states? Okay. Just dispels states. Like to purchase stuff. Oh, look, he has oil and roots. Roots are key. Water and root will be your combination for healing. We'll get healing soon. Like to save thy game. Hey, confused biscuits, how are you doing today? Hey, switch to switch to dog. Okay. Maybe you can talk to people with dog. Hello, <laughs> big dog. I know you don't talk to animals, but you seem to be an understanding beast. Do it again. You're a very good boy. Yes, yes, you are. I've got a nice <laughs> gift for you. Another collar. It will shield you from mean creatures. Oh, cool. Didn't have to spend money on it, I told you. Uh, I am the flightless bird, Confused Biscuit. I am... Um, I'm the one behind the controls. Yes. And Zappa is our navigator. We were... As is we, tradition. We were going to uh, record this off stream, and I was going to upload it to my channel. But he wanted to uh, stream it, and I'm still going to upload it to my channel. So, yeah. Welcome. Okay, so back to the village? Yes. Where the village is. Unless you want to go around and get that gourd as well. You can do that. Now that you can reach it. Yes, but it goes. It requires going back the other way. You can't hear the partner? Cannot hear partner. Which partner? Me, I think. That's weird. You should be coming through. I hear you. Uh, you want to hmm. turn on your Twitch and um, just yeah, listen? I'm about to investigate that right quick. 
Oh, well, thankfully he is now. Oh, well, I don't know why I'm thinking him. He can't hear me. That's odd. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, Crit was talking hmm. earlier, and I was talking to him, but he never knew. Uh, okay. I think I immediately know what's going on. I don't know why it's not capturing anything. It's not capturing your audio for some reason. Because it's coming through Discord and not through anything else? Huh, this is, an in this is interesting. Okay, we're back in the village. And, uh, doo -doo -doo. the great volcano is giving us a seat now. Something is terribly wrong. Wait, did we break the volcano somehow? We had to stop the cooling of the great volcano. We must send a hero to the source. I take it that's, uh, that's our next step, isn't it? Probably. Fire eyes could tell you. You did well in book, book. Now you go. Oh, so there's, remember that other spot I told you to not go grab stuff? Uh, the one all the Up way to the left? Up into the left? left? Yeah, it's, it's up and around. It's not this way. It's up around the other way. Are we here? Um, no. Further up. And there. That away. There we go. And now... One of these should be a better item. Save Stronghold and Pogba. Now, I'll defend yourself from future battles with an old recipe. Alchemy's formula is of defend. Use it one part clay and one part ash to increase your defensive abilities. Nice. I wonder how long that lasts. 90 seconds. Okay. It, I guess it must be later that it upgraded. Oh, well, you've got a biscuit. It's better than, than Not Pixie having a biscuit. Dust. That too. Talk to him. You can probably buy more swag. Vipers get the rip in the graveyard. So I guess Some the Vipers. people did update what they say. Yeah, the Vipers are our next, um, our next uh, enemy we must defeat. I can't even see our doggo. There it is. That. I forgot how I rest. Uh, down and to the right. Here are the village. Right. Yes. Down in... Uh, we'll just check this place out too while we're here. That's the end. Oh, okay, cool. And thank you so much, Confused Biscuits, for helping us with our audio issues. I, it didn't even occur to me that it wasn't. My voice was when I started recording. <laughs> well, no, that then that still works out because now I can take the stream and all it has is recorded is my voice. Because uh, I hit the stream button, but got to hit the record button for, for the longest time. I'll be able to get you all the audio. It'll work out. I hear you're victorious in the far reaches of the bug muck. Well, it was a bug hunt, but we got it okay. We got an empty claw too. It's like an axe. That was not okay, flightless. That was a um. <laughs> that was a um. That was a mission, is what that was. Well, that's that's great. Bugger has returned to his hut south of the village. And now the village faces a new crisis. Volcanoes to the north is rapidly cooling down. Friend continues, we could have an ice age on our hands. I like to help you, <clears throat> but I really got to start looking for a way back home. Your best bet may be to track down the source of this atmospheric icing. 
You see, I'm originally from Podunk, too. My grandpa was an inventor who lived in a mansion on the hill. He made a machine that could send people to worlds with their own design. Weird. So does that mean we may not be in the past? We may just be in an alternate world? So I enjoy all things pre-assorbing. I dreamed up this world of cave people and dinosaurs. I was supposed to be here for a couple of hours, but it's been a couple of decades. Now and again, I sense evidence of the outside influences on our world. The recent drop in temperature could be the work of someone from the real world. And that person has control over the vicious volcano vipers. Go to the source and send a volcano. You might find someone or something that could lead you back home. You might just save our village at the same time. Wow, this is like what happens in the pale people of Planet 5. Or V. One of the two. Or, or V. It's about a bunch of astronauts who get stuck on an exact replica of Earth. And it's populated by zombie vampires and... Well, actually, this isn't like that at all. If you're finished with your little anecdote, I can give you the ability to call me in difficult situations. Call beats. With my help, especially in big battles, you can throw a call beam to the ground. I'll appear in a flash and reveal the symbol of one of my spells. No offense, but how can a girl help a couple of adventurers like us? Ahem. I've learned a few tricks since I've been here. Allow me to show you why they call me Fire Eyes. She gonna go all Cyclops? Step back. There's a hurricane coming through. Duh, duh. Sorry. <laughs> cool. Call me if you need my help. Now you can go raider stuff. Should have upgraded. All kinds of Norfolk's crop be cooling off less heat. We need to investigate and stop the big freeze. Would like to equip or not equip your spells? He doesn't sell stuff. And she repeats the spell. There you go. Another call beat. Now that they exist. So here is a big long term pro tip always have six. Why? Always have six until I tell you not to. Because you will get something cool if you have six, but you won't get it if you don't have six. All right, fair enough. So are we heading to the volcano now? Yes. Also, I forget about call beads all the time. So I was like, oh, I have nine by the time it, it made that check and I never knew. I just thought I was getting crazy stuff. But oil is the other thing you need for Flash. But he is not cheap. Have wax. You should I don't have, have a lot of casts of flesh now. Right. No, no, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna tell you to blow all your money. Um, See, that, you learned. Yeah, I figured I was there, so I could come back for it. Yep. But it's only that one. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where. Up. Yeah, I've been going up. There we go. I've been going up, but I haven't found anything up. So. There you go. Now you can cut through that. Oh, did you ever go get that other gourd? No, you didn't. In the starting area, there's one more gourd. That's also item. There, Yungo. Nice. Sometimes when you hit it too much with too much damage, it delays dying. It has to stop and calculate damage separately two times. Yeah. Not doing as much damage to these guys as it was earlier. Well, these these are actually stronger enemies. Slightly stronger. Today, 
The mosquitoes are the same. Like, at this point, since you can better invest in alchemy, I would throw alchemy at the mosquitoes. It helps level it up, and it just makes life easier. Okay, I'll try that. And they just go pop. They have all of one HP. Still got you, I think. Ah! I'm being eaten! Yeah, see, the, the old ones didn't do that. No, they did this not! Is, this is a new foe. A new challenger has appeared. Mm-hmm. That's progress. But what do you always say? Left is always right. Ah! Stupid plants. Oh, so. Now that you have a stat buffing uh, spell, you can break the game. Do you know about Underflow? Um, do I know it? Yes, it's a term that Pokemon Yellow speedrunners use to completely reprogram the game so that way you can beat it in like a minute. I mean, I, I guess technically, yes. I don't have enough money to buy any of this. So... Underflow, in this case, is where you reduce a value to such a point, to such a negative number, that it wraps around to the maximum number. Also, please heal. Uh, yes. Okay, yes, I do understand that. So, in that case... Uh, what you could do, should you choose to abuse it, is you could level up your defense spell to about two or three, cast it on yourself, save the game, and shut it off. And then wait. And then load it back up. And what will happen is... The game reads the values incorrectly, and it, because you turn the game off, you have reset your stats, but you still have the defensive buff on. So when the defensive buff reset uh, wears off, whatever it raised, it will subtract from your actual, real, non-buffed defense. And if that is a great enough number, you can wrap that back around up to 255 as opposed to 17. Yeah, but that would be cheating. Also, you can get yourself killed that way later, later on in the game. Hey, can because I you know spot, what happens when... No, not yet. If you level up enough, you can actually raise your defense back up to the maximum, and then it loops back around... So that now, at level 30, you have a defense value of 2. Was, but could you just use the glitch again? You could, yeah. Spiders are... But then you would have to be aware of it, and not, and as opposed to realizing that, oh no, I just got killed because my defense is 2. The spiders are so goofy looking. At least you're not scared. They're, they're too Are cartoony they... to really be scared. Does poison naturally wear off, or...? Yes, poison will wear off in time. I just... You guys are hard to hit. Yes, I do not like them, Sam I am. Do not care for those green eggs. Hey, Zappa leveled up. Nice dodge. 
So what if I told you that the, the boss that we fought was not the hardest boss that I fought in the last 24 hours? Did you reach end game on Bravely Default too? Bravely Second? No, I I was playing Final Fantasy IX. Oh, did you beat the game? There was this dragon that I had to fight. Dragon. And oh. this dragon completely crushed me multiple times multiple times I, I actually ended the stream basically saying okay I need to go off and either level or find some secrets or something because this dragon I cannot beat this dragon hello hello you trespass in a boom lane Prepare to join the memes. Uh, is this a boss? Uh, sort of. It is several enemies. I don't have a lot of healing. They're not so bad that you can't avoid them, though. Can I see the other ones? Oh, because of being hit. Oh my gosh, they hurt. I'm trying to do that spammy thing and it's not working. Oh my gosh, they hurt. Yeah, they really hurt. Yeah, that spammy thing is not working. Uh, are you in control of the dog? Oh. Yes, that's that's the bit. Now, I, I, I since you're playing on emulation, I have to warn you. You can crash the game if you mix and match spells too much. So don't you mix can... them. Probably not, but on hardware, I know you can get some really cool looking effects. Like if you try to spell spam, like, oh, I want to cast defense and then acid rain, you could have acid rain in the color of defense or turn those hard balls into the color of flash or acid rain, depending on what order you cast them in. still alive uh that's a new one once you beat the original ones the big boy comes out yeah i i, I knew this was uh a different enemy there we go see the horn spear i wonder if this gate leads to volcano Thank you for fighting off those vicious vipers! They treat the sacred mammoth's graveyard as if it were a source of bones for tusks! Those guys are vipers? Yeah! Lizard people from the Great Volcano! They've been coming out in force lately, 
Not for mammoth parts. When we get to the core of the volcano, we'll stop them before they do more harm. Why are you going there? It's dangerous! Well, Fire Eyes told us about the volcano cooling and... Fire Eyes? Fire Eyes, say no more! You're for the Fire Eyes, I know I can trust you! I mean, the ancient vipers don't on top of the volcano to the north! I'll let you through the gate! Yes! Should I heal your wounds? Oh, I'm already healed! Oh, great. You need to be healed later. Here's the heal formula. One part one and one part root in order to activate the spell. That I need more than anything. Yes! And we got a spear. Yep. Doesn't hook it forward, though. Nah. But when you level it up to level two, you can throw it! Yeah, I was figuring as much. Trying to follow my dog around. How is a water there? Never know, man. You never know. See, that's that's probably why I didn't play this game originally. I really like magic. I like casting spells. And when I heard there was a limited amount of spell usage due to ingredients. That's probably what caused me to not want to uh, play the game. These guys are fast. It's really fast. Hey, Super Retro Theater. What's up, my friend? How you doing? Ow. Things are too dang quick. Stop eating my dog. Sapa, you need to stop getting knocked around everywhere. Oh, you need to protect me better from these lizards. I can't protect you better. I can barely protect myself. Uh, yeah, we're having a lot of fun. Definitely, I think so. Do I go right here or do I explore the rest of the area first? Uh, I would explore. Also, maybe heal up before you go in that cave. I was afraid of that. Eh, I mean... It gets... Yeah, I know, but early on... These in these parts are very dangerous. You should talk about life giving items. Pixie dust? What does that do? Pixie dust, if I recall correctly. Nope, I don't recall at all. <laughs> it does one of two things, and I don't want to tell you wrong. Uh, grants auto life for two minutes and 24 seconds. 120, 130, 164 seconds. Oh, 144 seconds. Weird. <laughs> it grants auto life, basically. All right, going right. She come back here after. 
Huh? I mean, it's not going to hurt you to go this way now, but it's just better to go the other way. What other way? Explore around to the left. Hate these raptors. Uh, I, the co-op may be difficult to get working. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm the one that's playing, and I'm going to be uploading this on my channel uh, once Eventually. we complete it. But Zappa here, he's our... The navigator. Thanks for just watching me get eaten. Look, I'm a big lumbering dog, man. I don't do running. I'm not a greyhound or a poodle. Or to the left, maybe. I thought we went to the left. No more. You can go more left. Here. Yeah. I can't even see these things. Oh, the dog loved up. I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, his attack leveled up. Oh. Now, at that point, you would actually have to go into the AI behavior and set it to level 2 in order for it to use level 2. Yeah, I don't know if I should, though. It would just... It would hit a lot harder. But also hits less. It would be charging up, unless you set it to aggressive. I don't know. It, maybe maybe you don't have it set as aggressive as you like. Local co-op on some emulated game. Well, yeah, we'd have to get a uh, Arsec or something working. I don't know how that goes. Uh, act. Select again, and it will let you change the level. Of course, you're fully in control of the boy, so that yeah, only applies so when he's... Up. Yep, and now he holds it until it's time to let it go. Behold. Power. That did a lot of damage. Oh, yep. come on. That was cheap as heck. Got him. Oh. So I'm sniffing at something over here. There we go. Gotta be something over here. Oh yeah, there's plenty. Or not. It's it's there, it's right there on that edge, kind of. Really hate getting well, at least, eaten. That, at least that time he hustled right over there. Yeah, he seems to have a pretty smartness to that. Whereas if you get grabbed, he like instantly comes to your rescue. I don't see anything here. Uh. Ah, that's a that's a nice uh, a safe little fun little hole to go into. Oh wait, I lied. Well, that was oh, evil. Oh, good grief! I went to attack and I picked up talons instead. Dino skin. Well, oh, that's armor. Yes, that dino skin is armor. Let's see. But yeah, this is a uh, blind let's play. I've never played or seen played Secret of Secret. Evermore. I 
I did play Secret of Mana. I'm gonna run out of Cure Spells. Oh wait, that's not the right spell. Heal. These guys hate these guys. Come on, dog. Why didn't you attack? Sure, now you attack. Well, um, that's what I was talking about earlier. And that is that I consider this game to be what I call the Chrono Cross Effect. It's basically a game that wasn't the original game. So therefore isn't very good because it's not the original game when in fact it might be very good. So I understand what you're saying um, about, about this not being... Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. About this not being secret of mana. But it could still be really good. Yes, a heal leveled up. Just drop me out right in front of his spider. Thanks a lot, game. Oops. Oh, no, that's right. You'll, you'll, you'll just kind of jump around on, the, on all these jump pads to get to the right one. Yeah, I think that you'll one You'll get there right eventually. One. Hey! Squish. You leveled up. That one completely shot me off screen. Uh, <laughs> the dog's animations. Okay. Another five blade. Nice, nice dogs. Good, good color. Uh, hi. You wouldn't know how to get to the volcano from here, would you? A volcano? No, nothing with the turn of entry and one of the mold molds. <laughs> Bo <laughs> Pardon me? <clears throat> the only way I know to enter that volcano is straight down into the crater. Of course, uh, come to me when you try to catacombs at the base of the volcano. I've seen a passage, but it's blocked by a big giant rock. Oh, levitation! That's that's good snow some bear. <laughs> you lift rocks and other heavy objects by using the levitate formula. I'll give it to you right now though. Levitate. That is a plot related alchemy. Only requires a mud pepper to water. Travel east to the base of the volcano, you can find some of the mud peppers in the swamp. Want my stuff? Oh yeah, Zappa's voices are always fantastic. Cheapest water. Uh, what is the cure spell? Cures water and roots. Can't buy roots here. No, I think Strong Art has the cheapest roots. You want to save your game? Good job, save that game. Uh, I mean. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. 
I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.